What's going on, Bruce? So, one of these sets is doing exceptionally well. Everyone knows about it. It's well documented how well one of these sets is doing. The other set is doing equally well, and no one's talking about it. However, you go to a card shop, you go to card shows, you go to talk to some shop owners, and they will tell you that that other one that no one's talking about, those are the cards that they have the most trouble keeping in stock. What? All right, so Scarlet and Violet, 151 versus Paldean Fates. I almost said Paradox Rift. And speaking of Paradox Rift, before I forget, look, I don't want to be accused of being a YouTuber pumper dude, okay? There's been a lot of uh, pumping accusations in, in content creators going on recently, but there is some serious crap that I need to get off my chest about Paradox Rift, okay? But I'm going to save it till the end of the video. I'm going to save it to the end, because the people that are going to accuse me, they're not going to watch the whole video. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man, Sh Hopefully. But yeah, stick tuned to the end if you want to hear some Paradox Rift action. Okay, so, today's video, five categories, all right? I was trying to figure out how can I compare Scarlet and Violet 151 to Paldean Fates in a kind of direct one-to-one, one-to-one-to-one, and then also, uh, you know, I, I want a winner. I want to pick a winner at the end based on points. And since there's five categories, that's an odd number. There, there should be a winner, okay? So, Scarlet and Violet, 151 versus Paldean Fates. Which set is better? If you just want a video where we just talk about market value and value. Right here and now, I'm going to tell you guys, there's a dude out there. His name is Pika Pika Papa, okay? I love this guy. I made a YouTuber awards video last year and I gave him Rookie of the Year, okay? If you want just a straight Scarlet and Violet 151, all the card values, versus Taldean Fates, all the card values, and then you want to compare, go check out one of his videos from like a few weeks ago. This video, this is for the collectors, this is for the binder dude, the binder ladies and dudes, and the master setters. This is like, yes, I am going to reference some, some, uh, you know, some values, but more or less, this is about how it looks in a binder, how how it makes me feel, okay? How 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 beautiful is this set, and how much should you master set it, okay? But yeah, we'll take value in. The, I'll I'll definitely take value in. All right, five categories, like I said. Category one is going to be we'll compare the regular sets to each other, okay? We'll, we'll take that set, the regular set, and then category two, this is where I had to get a little creative, just a little, little creative. So for category two, I'm gonna take the shinies from Paldean Fate, Fates versus the illustration rares from SV151. Because they're both specialty sets, they're built a little different. Um, but that's the only one. The next, then we'll do full arts. Full arts versus full arts. Then we'll do uh, special illustration rares versus special illustration rares. Then we'll do hyper rares versus hyper rares. So that's five categories. Regular set, shinies versus illustration rares, full arts versus full arts, special illustrator, and then hyper rares versus hyper rares. All right, let's do it. Ah! All right, first we're doing regular set in comparison. By the way, we ain't surfing the internet for this. We're not going to use TCG player prices. I'm going to throw up just B-roll of my own binders for this stuff, okay? you get We get the real cards with me, okay? So regular sets. So first of all, Pelin Fates has 91 regular cards in it, whereas Scarlet and Violet 151 has 165 cards in it. Now, the winner is very obvious in my opinion. However, Paldean Fates does have a very healthy amount of Kanto mixed in with newer Pokemon, and I really appreciate that they hit you with a large amount of Kanto Pokemon, but still sprinkled in a bunch of new stuff. However, nostalgia always wins. So 151 to have 161 cards in the or 165 cards in the regular set, all the Kantos, like you gotta give it to 151. So round one. Regular set absolutely goes to Scarlet and Violet, 151. Okay, so here, now we're gonna get a little interesting here, okay? So, Shinies versus the Illustration Rares. So, 
In Paladin Fates, we have 120 baby shinies versus merely 16, 16 very pack, pack up, they pack a punch, 16 illustration rares from Scarlet and Violet 151 that all pack a little bit of a punch. All right, from the value, from the value perspective, you know. Okay, but we're taking 120 baby shinies. Baby shinies, where 28 of the 120 baby shinies are worth over $5. And in fact, the top three baby shinies from Paldean Fates are Pikachu at $42. $42 for a little baby, baby shiny Pikachu. Isn't that more than Pikachu VMAX from Sword and Shield Trainer Gallery? I'm just saying, little baby, 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 baby Pikachu is $42. And then little baby uh, Charmander, $25. And now Pidgey, little Pidgey flying high, flew past Charmeleon and is now the third most expensive shiny at $22. So we have a serious amount of top end value at the at the top of both of these lists. The 16 illustration rares from 151 and the 120 baby shinies. They got some rich blood way up at the top, okay? Thing is, when you take the fact that there are 28 baby shinies that are still over $5, a lot of them are inching upwards, and then you see things like Pidgey going, Pidgey's gonna be 25 bucks, Charmander's 25 bucks, Charmeleon's 22. You know, this Pikachu, look, don't, be surprised if little baby shiny Pikachu is worth like 60, 70, 80 dollars soon, okay? There are that many baby shinies that finding any one of them can be a pain in the ass. And we all know how much everybody loves Pikachu. All right, so given the fact that Paldean Fates baby shinies, I only need six more. I got six more today, so I'm down to, I only need six more. Um, it was one of the most fun sets Again, I'm almost done. It was one of the most fun sets ever completed. It's one of my favorite sets to turn through. Um, the 16 illustration rares from 151, they're great, but I gotta give the dub to Paldean Fates Baby Shinies. So, Paldean Fates is the winner of round two. Tied one, two, one. All right. Full arts. All right, this is gonna be a quick one. I'm gonna make this one really quick. And the winner is Scarlet and Violet 151. There is zero comparison. These full arts are bold, they are beautiful, and they also pack a very hefty premium if you want to buy them. So the Paldean Fates full arts, they're great. They're all worthless, and they're all a little too shiny, and they're all reprints. These 151 full arts are just straight up badass cards. Just straight, I don't know how to say it. This is the most obvious dub of all the categories. The 151 full arts are hands down way better in basically every way than the Paldean Fates full arts. Winner, Scarlet and Violet 151. Score, 2-2-1. Two, two, Alright, now the most special category of the night, that is the special illustration rares. So, first of all, by the way, in that last category, I added the three Paldean Fates IRs. You know, the, the Palafin, the Wug Trio, and the Pommy or Palmot. I just threw them in the full arts and they still lost miserably. Okay, so anyways, uh, special illustration rares. Here's how the, here's how this one goes. There are seven special illustration rares in 151, and there are eight in Paldean Fates. I think top to bottom, when you look at all seven 151, they are all bangers, they are all beautiful top to bottom, and they are all exceptionally strong. However, when I look at the top three from Paldean Fates, when you look at the Mew, the Gardevoir, the Charizard, I know for a fact that I like Paldean Fates Charizard more than I like Scarlet and Violet 151 Charizard. I know for a fact that I like Paldean Fates Gardevoir more than I like the Blastoise. And the Mew and the Venusaur to me are kind of, I love both Mew and Venusaur, so those are a tie. So what I'm saying is, at the top end, I think the top three of Paldean Fates are just insane. O overkill, Overpower, Gardevoir, Mew, and Charizard are bangers. But when you compare the back half, when you compare like Zapdos, Giovanni's Charisma, and you know, all that stuff on the, on the back side, like Clive and Nimona, and those guys. So winner for me, 
it's close, but I, I, I give the dub to Scarlet and Violet 151 just because all seven of the special illustration rares are all very strong. Not crazy overpowered and not underwhelming like some of the back, I guess, some of the lower ones of Pelion Fates. So there we go. So now it is, let's see, one, two, three. It's three to one. All right, well, let's see if Pelion Fates can make it close. So here we go, Hyper Rares. This to me is a lot like the full art category, just flip it, okay? Scarlet and Violet 151 has three Hyper Rares and they're just kind of there, just like they're just kind of there in Obsidian Flames. Wow, there's three of them, okay. You took something that's supposed to be rare and made it inherently not rare at all by only making three, okay? Whereas Palane Fates has six Jade. Jade Hyper Rares, I love it, Jade. So look, I'm a huge fan of the Jade Hyper Rares. I think if they once a year had one set that came out with Jade Hyper Rares in this era, that would be really cool. I absolutely, I, I love the Jade Hyper Rares, so I gotta give the dub to Paldean Fates. But that unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on what team you're on, whether you're on Scarlet and Violet 151 or Paldean Fates, that means three to two, Scarlet and Violet 151 is the winner. Oh, Ellie White! Oh, I'm done. I'm done picking you. Oh, holy smokes. No way. No way. No way. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, a score of 3 to 2 is it perfectly, I think, articulates the way you should view these sets. They are both banger sets. Scarlet and Violet 151 is everyone's clear favorite, but do not sleep on Paldean Fates. Paldean Fates is right there with it, especially with the Charizard, the Gardevoir, the Mew, and honestly, like the baby shiny Pikachu and Charmander and Charmeleon and Pidgey and Mimikyu and Snorlax and, and Ditto and, and Enti, and there's just so much there that these are both incredible sets, and I think you can't go wrong master setting either one of them all right and now for the bonus content all right so the bonus should i just speak in code here i'm gonna i'm gonna try speaking in code for this paradox rift info steelix is going to be the new raichu grudon is going to be the new magikarp no god no, God, please, no, 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 no! I'm just saying, if you have any interest in master setting, completing, or getting these Paradox Rift hits, you might want to jump on it now, because, my God, Grudon, Paradox Rift and Pelday are the exact same size sets, more or less. They are literally one for one. And if you, if you think Magikarp can shoot to the moon, and Grudon can't do the same or similar to it and follow right behind Magikarp, you're crazy. And I ask you, would you rather pay 35 bucks for Grudon and risk losing $10 because he drops back down to 25, or would you rather not pay 35 or 34 bucks for Grudon and watch him go up to 70 or 80? It's your call. I'm just saying, I secured my Grudon for 28 bucks a few days ago and it has done nothing but go up since. I only have one copy, and for you people that want to master set Paradox Rift, beautiful freaking binder collection, you should probably get your Grudons now. Same with the Steelix. I think Steelix is only like 12 bucks. All right, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you bitches later. Deuces. Emotional damage.